Uh, I'm Ira Bennett, and I work for the Center for Nanotechnology and Society. The Consortium for Science Policy and Outcomes, and all of that's located at Arizona State University. And I have a project called Science Policy and Citizenship, and this is concentrating on biodiversity. Um, and my team that I work with is myself and Mahmoud Farouk and Travis Doom, who are all located at ASU. Um, and the partner institutions for this project are the Phoenix Zoo and the Seattle Aquarium. Biological diversity, or biodiversity for short, describes the variety of life on Earth. It covers all kind of plants, animals, and other living beings in the land, in the fresh water, as well as in the sea. And biodiversity occurs at the species level, at the ecosystem level, and at the level of genetics. At the moment, we are protecting biodiversity by setting aside some reserves for the species to survive and thrive. That is okay for the moment, but the pressure on that is so huge. We need a much more encompassing and integrated policy where every human being, every citizen feel like they are part of a system, hence they will gear to our protecting that system. The project is, is sort of an ongoing evolution of some ideas about engaging high school age teenagers in thinking about the complexity of, of decisions that are made within a democracy. So we've, we've run some, uh, some iterations of this where they deal with new and emerging technologies like uh, synthetic biology or geoengineering. But this, in this case, we actually had them uh, wrestle with uh, the complexities of biodiversity when it comes to making decisions as, as a nation. It's a proof of concept project, so I want, I want to see if there's good ways to engage high school age teens in getting to think about uh, the, the complexity of the political process when it has to do with science or technology. And, and it's, a, it's a test of the actual methodology. So, so one, can we build a network of institutions that can work together so, so that teens can learn um, with this thing that we built. The structure is, it's a hybrid online face-to-face uh, -face project. The students will meet face-to-face -face and discuss some framing questions and develop some questions of their own. Then they go online and work with a series of experts from around the world, asking them questions and getting responses to their questions. And then the students meet back face-to-face -face in their groups and uh, with a very narrowed set of questions, develop a consensus statement. Each group will develop its own consensus statement. And then that is presented to a panel of local experts. If we all believe that biodiversity is a good idea, then why are we so bad at it? Starting there got them thinking about what makes biodiversity a reality from a policy process, because then it all becomes about decisions that humans make. The next stage is, is the online expert engagement, and the students will take the questions that they've developed through the framing section and actually post them into our online forum, and experts from around the country will address the questions. Sometimes the questions are sort of lumped together and, and, and given one sort of large answer, um, and sometimes they're, um, they're addressed individually, and then the students ask follow-up questions, and, and the experts sort of engage. It becomes, a, it becomes much more like a dialogue than just a, a straight uh, question and answer. The students then met and developed their consensus statements uh, involving policy recommendations, and prepared a, a five-minute testimony describing these policy recommendations. And then there was a final culminating event, and so that was a panel that each institution developed. And at these panels, the students present their testimony to the panel, and then the panel uh, questions them about it. So it's, a, you know, it's sort of a, a mock hearing uh, sort of format and the students get challenged about what it is that they came up with as policy recommendations and this is an this is an excellent opportunity for for what they thought they knew to be challenged and but not not in an overly aggressive way in a, in a fun in a fun way but to get them to think yet again more broadly about the, the policy challenges that you face when you're dealing with things like biodiversity as it relates to people's lives um, people's economies uh, and the things that people have. 
another thing for the students was, you know, this was an opportunity to present their ideas um, in a very public way, and it scared the bejesus out of them. You know, talking to them afterwards, and like, oh, if only we'd been more prepared, if only you'd given us more. And I, no, I mean, you guys did great. From the panel perspective, the point of the panel was to challenge the students, and the students all handled themselves very well, and the panel recognized that. Both the Phoenix Zoo and the Seattle Aquarium expressed interest in doing this again, um, and we hope that that experience will then allow us to move on and gain more institutions to come in. When you're engaging in a project like this, you really need to understand a lot about the institutions that you're working with. Um, so you may have an understanding of how a zoo works, or you may have an understanding about how teenagers think, but understanding how those come together is, is a challenge. I think this project overall was a success in that uh, we had a bunch of teens that learned new things about biodiversity, learned new things about um, the policy process as it relates to scientific issues like biodiversity. Um, I think it was a success in that we engaged a new type of institution, the zoo and aquarium community, which I had never done before, to moderate success in that you know they seem happy and I'm pleased with the outcomes and the students learned. Um, and we engaged a new set of experts, um, experts around biodiversity issues, um, and got them engaged in conversations both with teens, but also about how citizens and and communities actually have voices around the issues of biodiversity. Biodiversity has a value of its own. Almost every culture and every society, one way or the other, dependent on biological diversity. Biodiversity losses can have a severe consequences at several levels, at the personal level, at the family level, at the local at the community level, as well as at the national level. So since it affects all levels, it's in our interest to develop a coherent policy to protect the biodiversity of the Earth system.